Oh, one's cute to see, but they uh, are cute from a distance. Only from yeah, a distance. Hold them out at arm's length or more. <laughs> yes, as, as much as you can. Now, if you want to comment on any of these stories, share your thoughts by liking my Facebook page. That's at facebook.com slash Jen Jacobson. Next year on Fox 51 Today, we have a great celebrity birthday game for you today. Play along with Katie and I. See if you can guess more birthdays than we can. We'll get started when Fox 51 Today returns. Today, I am so excited to play the celebrity Your birthday first game. Birthday yes. game. We'll see how I do. Uh, yeah, and uh, Rachel already got you some points this week, Ooh. so so you're doing okay. I'm already up. Yeah, two to two. So don't we'll, Rachel, don't worry, we'll Rachel. I got happens. your backs. Yeah. yeah, with the weather tomorrow, I don't know that we'll have time to play it tomorrow. So this oh, may be yeah. your only chance. Oh. Okay. okay. Let's see All what we're doing. On. Okay, Frankie Muniz. Let's see how. Let's guess how old he is. Well, Malcolm in the middle, know. right? Okay, yes, and um. He is an agent on Cody Banks. Oh, agent Cody Banks. Yeah. I forgot he was okay, in that yeah. movie. And he, I didn't know about that. He was discovered at age eight in a local talent competition after hmm. acting in a Christmas carol. Ooh. Wow. That's eight? He's been doing this since he was eight? And, you know, he's a lot like our friend Paul Walker, driving cars as a hobby, racing yep. cars. Um, he became engaged. Okay, that's a good hint for age. Engaged to Alicia Marie in 2011. He's old enough to be married. I keep thinking that he's got to be like 12 or he something. He looks super young to me. I he's know, he's got, got that, that youth baby look. face. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay you how know, that pays off when you're older, so that's a good that's thing. That's true. Uh, 23. 23, okay. Uh, how about like 25? How old is Frankie? Hmm. 28? He's 28. Wow. That's All pretty, right. that's pretty crazy. Agent Cody Banks is okay. getting up there. Pal of Patton. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Alan, but this is the woman that is married to Robin Thick, right? Robin Thick. Ooh. I bet they have very pretty babies. Oh, I'm sure they do. I just And oh. they just had a son. Yeah. Oh, they just had a son. Yeah. He's going to be pretty. Oh, I'm He's sure. He's going to be really He'll pretty. He'll grow up to be a heartthrobber. Okay, what else? Okay, is, she's, so she's, she's an actress, Mission right? Mission Impossible. She's okay. an actress. She played a Mission Impossible mm -hmm. and she was an Oscar winning uh, uh, award winner in Precious 2009. Oh, okay. I've yeah. never seen that. She graduated from USC Film School mm -hmm. and um, yeah she, on one of her first jobs in entertainment was a production as assistant on Howie Mandel's talk show. Oh, Howie so Mandel. she's probably been around for a while. Oh. I guess 30. Okay. She's so uh, young looking. Yeah, so. she looks great. So she looks 30, but I'm thinking she's probably a little bit older than that. How about like 36? How old is she? 38. Good job. You've won a little bit closer. You've won both of them. Yeah, well, we only, we only get points if we get it oh, right on the nose. Get right on the dot. Okay, gotcha. So, yeah, close so but no cigar. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, Shalom Harlow. The only reason I know who this is is because she was in How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Oh, she, oh, right. I remember that. That's remember one of my favorite movies. The two, like, yeah. witchy women yeah. that worked for the competition. Oh, I didn't like them very yeah. much. Yeah, she was one of them. Um, I bet she, let's see, what else do we know about her? Oh, she's one of the top supermodels that wouldn't get out of bed for less than $10,000. For less $10, than $10,000. So she's wow. snobby. Yeah, okay. so it fits her role pretty mm. well there. Okay. Um, I'd say 40. Oh, her name also means peace in Hebrew. But See, I would never have guessed. I mean, like looking protector. at her name, you realize she's Hebrew, but I, I would have never guessed that just by looking at her. Yeah, I wouldn't but either. I don't know. All right, how old I, do you I think, think she I guess 40, right? 40? Yeah. Okay. Uh, how about 37? I don't know. <gasps> oh, I Look at that. you. So you got a point. Yay. All right, who's up next? All right. Is that our last one? Oh, Carrie no, we have Carrie Hilson. Time. Oh, I love her song. What is, what is that song? She's a singer, right? She, now, um, didn't she didn't she do a song for burlesque? She sing, uh, I'm not sure. I think she did one song she, for that. What song are you thinking about? Uh, Pretty Girl Rock. That's a cute oh, song. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's a good jam. All right, let's see what else she does. She she Things was in like Things Like a Man. Like a man. Okay, okay, so she's an actress and a singer, songwriter. Wow, she's got it all. Yeah. Um, she's from Georgia. She's a Southern girl. Ooh, oh, and you know that song, know. The Way I Are by Timbaland? I love no. that one. Uh, she sings yeah. in that. Uh, <laughs> I love how our how our producer Alan's like, no, no, Katie would never know that song. <laughs> oh, mm -mm, that's a good song. No. You should listen to it. Okay. okay, so how old do you think she is? Oh, gosh. We've been in the 30s all day. Maybe she's older than that, though. How about like 41? Okay, I'm, I'm going to go back to the 30s. I okay. think 32. That's okay. a huge difference. Am I, am I way off? <gasps> oh, yeah, oh, I was, was way so off. Close. <laughs> Oh, that was so fun. Hopefully we do get to play that. Well, maybe not technically tomorrow. you're winning three to two. Oh, that's awesome.
Welcome. Thank you. We were talking about how we were trying to park off to the side because Loop 323 was about yeah. to get some construction, but so far it hasn't been too bad, huh? Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Well, yeah. uh, I guess people saw it here and, and elsewhere that uh, we were going to be working and, and working in the eastbound direction. We were thinking uh, that, you know, naturally with one lane open on South Loop 323, the traffic would be backing up across Broadway and across Old Bullard and in front of the station here. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Um, Wednesday was the day. It, with, with all the rain, I mean, it was postponed to begin with. We yeah. got one day out of it on Wednesday. It rained again on Thursday. Um, we shifted our work around to work westbound last Friday. Today is the last day, hopefully. Um, we're working eastbound again, um, still roughly between Broadway and Paluxy. I would say those are the areas to to uh, find a, uh, an alternate route around. If you if you if you don't have to drive through that area today, I would recommend not doing it. Um, but then we'll we'll give it back at the end of the day today, and the loop will be. <laughs> free for everybody Wide to drive open. on right, right, right open. Now, what exactly are you guys doing on these roads? Well, I think you've probably, if, you've, if you pay attention to pavement at all, you've, you've noticed that particularly in the outside lanes, there's been a lot of what looks like alligator cracking. It's, it's yeah. called alligator cracking. It looks like alligator skin just because the, yeah. the cracks all kind of work together to look like alligator skin. Anyway, that is the, that is the death throw of, of pavement. When it gets to that point, it is time to replace it. And uh, so we we know there's a lot of it uh, to be taken out of there. We need to needed to mill up that outside lane and put back some fresh hot mix. So that's what we've been doing the last couple of days. When it hasn't been raining, Robert. Um, <laughs> I know, work on that. Let's just blame it on Chesner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, anyway, so hopefully uh, the dark clouds today will blow over and, and uh, we'll be able to finish. So that's, uh, you know, it's, you got to work on every inch of the road at some point. Um, right. You know, and it's it's never there's never a good time to work on something like the South Loop yeah. or Interstate 20 or or Broadway. <laughs> uh, but you know, nevertheless, in order for that pavement to stay in good shape, we got to get out there and do it. So I, I I guess in closing, I just want to say I'm really thankful that the people of Tyler gave us the opportunity to go out there and work and really seek an alternate route while we're working. It made a huge difference because the material that we're waiting on has to come through that traffic, and so the more traffic there is, the longer it takes <laughs> oh. to get that truck and the longer it takes to get that hot mix down. So it's, it's made a big difference, and, uh, and I just want to pass along my thanks. Definitely. Well, thank you, too, for all your hard work. Now, maintenance is key, though, and it always continues. What do you guys have in store for the rest of the summer? Well, um, that night work on 110 is about to wrap up, and it's the same contractor who's going to be working on uh, Broadway, um, that, that nighttime project that I've been talking about for a while yeah. between 4th right. uh, Street and the South Loop. Uh, so as soon as they're done on 110, hopefully that's going to be in about a week. Uh, maybe 10 days, then they'll move over to Broadway and, and start working there as well. And that'll be a that'll be a repair and uh, mill and inlay, repair and replace, whatever you want to call it. You know, basically taking out old pavement, and replacing with fresh hot mix. So Broadway's about to get that facelift that it, it badly needs there, particularly as it goes <laughs> north yeah. Amherst. It's in pretty bad shape. So we'll have that taken care of. Hopefully, um, staying in Tyler, the uh, the West Loop, a lot of daytime work right now that's not requiring lane closures, but uh, that's. That will change here as we move uh, through the summer. We're going to start seeing those turn restrictions from the loop onto Front Street that we've been talking about. Um, that's going to be another area that if you can find an alternate route around is going to be a, an excellent one to take. Even though most of the work's going to happen at night, some of those lane restrictions are going to be in place during the day as they uh, as they work to expand the intersection and uh, and get the overpass replaced there, build the temporary and then build the permanent. So there's a lot of work to be done. Uh, some of it's going to require some daytime lane closures. Most of that work's going to be done at night. But again, if you can just kind of, if you can work around going on the West Loop from now until that project is finished, I mean, it would be good practice and it'll pay off for you right. in the long run. A lot of daytime projects and nighttime as well. And you guys were talking about how Twitter has been a great tool for people to keep up with all these things. You might even want to be writing them down as you're talking. But you guys have Twitter as an outlet to, to keep right. people yep. posted, right? At T-Y-L-P-I-O is, uh, is my Twitter handle, and you'll get uh, updated information as well as where you can find the uh, hashtag safe zone projects, which is, of course, the South Loop is going to be one of them. And uh, while I'm thanking the, the citizens of Tyler for giving us uh, giving us a couple <laughs> easy days out there, I need to thank Tyler PD as well for their yes. work uh, in patrolling it and, and making sure people behave themselves as they drive <laughs> yeah. through. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, everyone who has been patient. It's worth it, guys. And thank you for all your hard thank work. You. Thank you.